When the boy was born, like all Spartans, he was inspected. If he had been small or puny, sickly or misshapen, he would have been discarded. From the time the boy advanced beyond liquids, he was taught to withstand the art of gluttony. Taught never to leave food on a plate, never to waste, and always ask for seconds. And that leaving the table with a full stomach was the greatest service to Sparta the boy could achieve in his life. Now, a beast approaches, patient and confident, savoring the meal to come, ready to snuff out the world's one hope for flavor and filling meals. Yes, a beast approaches, and it was King Leonidas himself who provoked it. What message do you bring? Diet and exercise. You rode all the way here for diet and exercise? Let us walk and cool our tongues. All that God King Xerxes requires is the simple offering of diet and exercise. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. See, rumor has it that the Athenians have already turned you down. And if those bodybuilders and vegetarians have that kind of nerve, they must be diplomatic. And Spartans have their reputation to consider. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. They might be your last as king. This is fatness. Fatness? This is Sparta! your son. He is too young to have felt a woman's warmth. Obesius is as brave and ready as any. No younger than you the first time you stood next to me in battle. You are a good friend, but a fatter captain. There is none. Taco Bell! Dude, we just ate there. How about Arby's? Five for five ninety-five. Nah, I'm not a huge fan of their curly fries. What? How is that possible? Hey, did that Arcadian ever say if he gets a discount at Red Lobster? No, it's only if he's working, man. F***ing Arcadian. I feel like breakfast tonight. Let's go to Denny's. Jeez, if you want breakfast, then let's go to IHOP. All right, that works for me. You know, I didn't even know I was craving that, but now that I think about it, I totally am. So it's decided! Tonight, we dine on pancakes! <laughs> 